Dear students, now we are going to discuss classification of materials based on energy band structure. Based on the energy band structure, we can classify the materials into three types. Insulator, conductor and semiconductor. Okay. So let's start with this insulator. Insulator is a material which is having extremely poor electrical conductivity. Since it is having a very large energy gap between valence band and conduction band, it is not possible for the movement of electron from this valence band to this conduction band due to this large energy gap. So this type of materials cannot conduct. Do you all understand? So example for this insulators are glass, diamond, wood, mica, paper. Next one is conductor. It is a material which is having large number of free electrons for conduction. Okay. So large number of free electrons means there are huge movement from this valence band to this conduction band. So both the bands are overlapping each other. Overlapping each other means there is no forbidden energy gap. So very high conductivity is available with this conductor at room temperature. There is no forbidden energy gap because conduction band and valence band both are overlapping each other. Okay. So here examples are all kinds of metals, copper, silver, aluminium, gold, etc. Next one is semiconductor. Semiconductor is a material or substance which has electrical properties lying between insulator and conductor. That means the conductivity of the semiconductor lies between insulator and conductor. It is having very small amount of forbidden energy gap that is narrow forbidden energy gap. At low temperature, for example 0 degree Kelvin, it acts as an insulator. At room temperature or high temperature, the same semiconductor can act as a conductor. So based on the temperature it can act as either insulator or conductor. Do you all understand? That's why it is called as semiconductor. So here the forbidden energy gap is narrower. It is approximately 1 electron volt. Here the conductivity is proportional to the concentration of free electrons. Example for the semiconductors are silicon, germanium, so next one is types of semiconductor. Semiconductor is classified into two types. Intrinsic semiconductor, extrinsic semiconductor. Intrinsic means pure semiconductor. Extrinsic means impure semiconductor. This extrinsic semiconductor is further classified into N-type semiconductor, P-type semiconductor. Finally, the comparison between insulator, conductor and semiconductor. Insulator is having extremely poor conductivity. Conductor is having very high conductivity. Semiconductor is having the conductivity which lies between insulator and conductor. In this energy band structure, insulator is having very large forbidden energy gap. It is approximately 7 electron volt for diamond. There is no forbidden energy gap for this conductor because conduction band and valence band both are overlapping each other. For the semiconductor, the energy gap is narrower one.